All right, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the programming basics on a five axis on a Herco machine. So when we program a Herco, we are in something called universal rotary for all rotary programming and for all five axis, all four and five axis programming on the Herco control WinMax, we're talking about universal rotary. What universal rotary is, it allows me to program four axis and five axis moves and be able to transfer that program from any style of machine that we have that has rotaries, tilting axes and rotary axes. So I can take this same program that I've written for a trunnion style five axis, put it in a five axis with a swivel head, or I can put it on a VMX 42 that we've added a tilt, uh, tilt rotary trunnion to that machine, making it a five axis. So this works on a horizontal, whatever. As long as I have enough axes to make the movements that I'm asking for in the program, I can put that on that style of machine and it doesn't matter of the configuration. That's why we call it universal. What we're going to do to make that possible is we're not going to consider what type of machine we're on at all. We're going to program the tool moving around the part. How do we want the tool to rotate? How do we want it to tilt? Which side of the part are we on? And we're just going to program it that way. When we move this program to a specific machine type, it will then use whatever axes it has available to do the moves that we're requesting. When we program, <clears throat> we need to think about what is our A axis, B axis, and C axis, and so forth. For those who don't know, if we think of our linear axis in X, Y, and Z in alphabetical order, we think of our A, B, and C also in alphabetical order, and those coincide. The A axis always rotates around the X, the B axis always rotates around the Y, and the C axis is always rotating around the Z. So when you hear A, B, or C, or you're programming that way, you need to think of those correlations. A is with X, B is with Y, C is with Z. Now, as far as the machine goes, there is a setting that you can change the rotary direction from what we call ISO standard to non-ISO. ISO standard is basically just an industry standard direction of rotation, very much like if you think of a three-axis machine and what is positive on the X, the Y, and the Z. It's the same on every machine you program. Well, it's kind of the same for rotary. There are some models of machines. Herkel was one very, very long ago where we were backwards from ISO on all of our rotations. All of the machines now ship with ISO standard turned on. So it's not an issue, but if for whatever reason you needed to change it, you could. However, that doesn't change the way we program. We still always program in ISO standard. So as we're describing the tool rotating around the part, we're always rotating in what we call ISO standard. Now, to know what that is, we use the right hand rule. So for our three axis programming, if we were to take our right hand and we were to position it like we see in the slide here, my fingers are all pointing in the positive direction for X, Y, and Z. The rotary is the same way. If I take the thumb of my right hand and I lay that along the positive direction of the axis that I need to rotate around, for example, here's an X axis. My thumb is pointing to the positive side for me, to my right. My fingers then are wrapping in a positive rotation. So anything to the front of the part would be a positive rotation. If I rotate to the back, that's going the opposite of my fingers, that would be a negative rotation. B axis, same way, I point it away from me in the positive. So anything tilting to my right is positive, anything tilting to my left is negative. And the Z, put my thumb along the Z positive, and the C axis rotates around counterclockwise as a positive move. So using those, the right hand rule, ISO standard, and knowing that you're always programming the part or the tool moving around the part, we never think of how the machine is going to move. And that allows us to create these universal programs that then we could take from machine, or machine configuration to machine configuration. 